Okay, welcome back, everybody. It's so good to be with you week after week. I think this is my favorite part of the week, being able to think about what to talk to you about and to just get on and share some of my thoughts with you and guests. And this podcast is so much fun. And I just appreciate you listening each week because I know you have other things to do or maybe even other shows that you listen to. And the fact that you choose to hang out with me, uh, I'm so grateful for that. And I am grateful also for the fact that I, I just celebrated a birthday. I turned 53 on September 18th, and I always enjoy celebrating my birthday. You know, I think birthdays are an opportunity for us to really just connect with the fact that this is our day. It's the day that we were born. It's a day we don't necessarily have to share with anyone else. I get that other events and maybe even other people have a birthday with you, but it's still your day. And in a world where I think we put a lot of emphasis and maybe even create some anxiety about aging, I just realized, and, and maybe I've done this for a long time. I've done this since I was even younger. I just always found my birthday to be fun and exciting and a day for just acknowledging who I am. And even when I was younger, I did that in my own way. But now as I've gotten older, it's really a day for reflection. And I think reflection is important because that's how we catch up with our growth, right? When we can take the time to think about all the things that we've experienced and achieved and how we've grown. That to me is very important for us in terms of how we're going forward. And so I just wanted to take some time on this episode to share with you that this year I decided to write myself a letter, a love letter to my younger self. And I wanted to share what I put in the letter with you because I think that if I can encourage all of you to do this, I think that it is an opportunity for us to, number one, connect with our younger self. And we could do an entire episode on our inner child. And if you'd like me to do that, you just let me know. But there is a lot of healing that can occur when we connect with our younger self and a lot of understanding. And it can also really be a catalyst for growth and for getting past some of our own limiting beliefs. And so I thought there was no better time than my birthday to do that. Okay, so I'm going to put on my, what I call my new glasses, if you're watching on YouTube. These big black glasses remind me of what my grandfather used to wear a long time ago. He always had these black rimmed glasses, and so that's why I call these my new glasses. But honestly, glasses for me have become a very important, I wouldn't even call it an accessory anymore because I can't see, so <laughs> we need the glasses. Okay, so I want to bring up the letter that I wrote and share that with you. And again, before I get into my letter, I think that I want to just talk a little bit more about birthdays because I know some people who start to cringe when their birthday gets closer and they don't want to talk about it. They don't want to acknowledge their age. And that's a personal choice. But I do want to give you a couple of reasons why celebrating your birthday could really be important to you and help you grow in so many ways. And if there's a possibility that I could change your mindset on this, that would be exciting. Again, I think the power of birthdays can be a, a very positive thing for our mental health. I think that when we celebrate our birthday, it's important for our growth because it's self-affirming. We can really feel powerful when we acknowledge our existence and when we take the time to think about all the people in our lives who make our lives meaningful. So maybe that's a new ritual or tradition you want to start on or around your birthday is just journaling and creating some self-affirming statements about your life and the people in it. I think it also definitely could be a vehicle for us to reflect on our values, our beliefs our passions. I mean, we can do this any day. So this can be come journal prompts that you want to get into at any point in time, but I'm just saying it's a great way to celebrate your birthday and really just use it as an opportunity to self-discover more about yourself. 
And I think that will boost your self-esteem, right? So that's going to give you a feeling of self-worth. It's going to, I think, expand your sense of identity, all of which are vital for your growth and your happiness. And as I said before, it's a great reason to express gratitude, whether you do that in your journal, whether you do that um, in person uh, with someone, I think that is another catalyst for expressing gratitude. And as I said, it can be an opportunity to take some time to pause and reflect on your journey, your challenges, your triumphs, just really acknowledging how precious time is and what a gift it is. And I believe that when you can visit some of those really positive, loving memories, it can also strengthen some bonds. And I think finally, it's an opportunity to just acknowledge how awesome you are. Your birthday is going to represent another year of growth, lessons learned, opportunities, challenges, maybe mistakes. And it's okay. You can reflect on that and appreciate all of it. Appreciate where you've been. And at the end of the day, have a little fun. And so I believe celebrating your birthday is very important. And look, I get it. Sometimes you have the blessing of friends and family who want to show appreciation for you and celebrate you on your birthday. But I'm here to tell you that's great. And you don't even need it because if you can just celebrate yourself, if you can acknowledge things about yourself, that is the most powerful. And so that is why I was inspired this year to use my birthday as an opportunity to write my younger self a letter. And if you've never done this before, I definitely want to encourage you to try it. So I hope this serves as an inspiration for that, because I think that it gives you the opportunity to do all the things we just talked about, especially the reflection. So let me share with you what I wrote. Dear younger me, I see you. I see your beauty. I see your curiosity. I see your big dreams. Sitting here with you, I think we both know deep down inside that you're here to do great things with your life. It's just that you're not sure how to get there and that's okay. The path will be revealed as you take each step. I know sometimes you can feel overwhelmed, even anxious about the future. Don't be. I can tell you that it's not always going to be pretty or easy. You're going to come across some tough times, but you'll get through it. You'll get through it better and stronger than you were before. You'll get through it because of who you are, because of how you were made, and because of your deep faith. You'll get through it because of your tenacity and because you know that there's more that life has in store for you than anything happening at that moment. You know that life is important and that you're going to do significant things. Your love of life will show up in everything you do. For some people, you might be too much, but that's okay. For most people, you'll be exactly what they need, exactly what the room needs at that moment. Your energy is infectious. Your curiosity is inspiring. So don't ever pretend to be anything other than yourself. Don't doubt yourself and always follow your intuition. It will never steer you wrong. I want you to know that people pleasing and trying to be what everybody wants of you is a waste of time. You'll figure it out at some point. I want to encourage you to take risks. Don't be afraid. Do the things that actually frighten you. But say no to the things that will get in your way. Say no to the things that will get in your way of what's important to you and get clear about your values. Open your heart, let love in. Don't be afraid to be you. It's what the world needs and there's no one like you. Remember your family is important and will always be your priority. Living in this world is an experience. So step out, open your arms wide and let in as many experiences as you can. 
you will travel and get to see some beautiful places in this world. And don't forget to connect with the people that you meet and always come back and share your story. Because your story matters and there's someone who always needs to hear it. There are so many things I could tell you, honestly. It's important for you to know that you have everything you need on this journey. So whatever is missing will show up along the way. Just trust yourself, follow the path, and above all, love yourself, because I do. That's my letter to my younger self. When I wrote it, I pictured myself at around the age of 14, which for most people was probably a rough age. <laughs> Freshman in high school, trying to figure it out, trying to fit in. I certainly was. And if I could go back and tell my younger self, I would say, it, just be you because it doesn't matter. Everybody at, at that time, at that age is trying to figure it out too. So I think that giving thanks for who I am, giving thanks for the journey, giving thanks for all the lessons is important because I truly believe it shows the universe that I'm not only grateful, but I'm ready for more experiences. So Thanks for letting me share my letter to my younger self. Thanks for letting me just come on and talk to you a little bit about birthdays and celebrating who you are, your unique self. I think that is the greatest gift we could give to ourselves on any day. So thank you for joining me. I wish you a beautiful, wonderful day and a happy birthday whenever that is.